Hey everyone, this is a follow-up video with some additional information that I've learned um, dealing with these cross pencils. And first off, thank you to everybody that responded and said that uh, the information I put out there was helpful to you, especially um, the people that, like myself that have heirloom uh, cross uh, sets and we're given these functional pieces of art, new life, and um, you know, using uh, these heirlooms uh, in the way they're meant to be used. It's really cool and I'm glad I could help you guys. A um, couple of things I have learned uh, or at least thought of. So first off, um, I thought that obviously when I when I damaged this that that was kind of going to be a problem and, and Cross will not sell spare parts. However, you can find spare parts online and I went on eBay and found the pen shop of Memphis. I'm gonna give them a plug here. You guys were great, uh, 10 bucks. And they sent me this. It's a new chrome plated tip. So more about this in a second, um, but they're out there. Um, I thought I was gonna have to perhaps buy a uh, plain one, uh, maybe a chrome pencil and then take the tip off of it. You can find these things used fairly cheap um, but, um, yeah, I just bought the tip, you know, 10 bucks. So that yeah, was a really good find. Now, something that occurred to me, um, for getting the tip off without marring it would be grab yourself a produce rubber band. And, um, so do the thing with the Loctite, you know, get it soft, use a cigarette lighter or a soldering iron, get some heat in here, but obviously don't damage the gold. Uh, if it's a, a gold filled one, you know, don't, don't damage the finish, but get it hot. Um, hot enough, maybe not hot, hot, but hot enough. Um, use, you know, the least, uh, lowest effective dose, obviously. Don't burn your fingers. Um, but get the Loctite soft and then uh, let it cool off maybe for a bit. Maybe, um, I don't know, put it, um, touch it to some ice or something and then dry it off. And then go ahead and use a produce rubber band. And then you can wrap it around itself here. And that will give you more grip to try and spin it off. All right, so that might be helpful to you guys and everybody has these that come on your broccoli, your, your asparagus, that type of deal, right? All right, so anyway, spin this off, spin the new one on. And it's that simple. Now I am not Loctiting this. Um, because I don't need to, but you might want to monitor this in case it loosens on you. Now, something else I learned, um, this is not 0.7 millimeter, it's 0.9. And I did not know that, and uh, I figured that out. Now, the 0.9 is um, obviously thicker, and it's stronger, and it writes better. I like it being 0.9, but you don't see 0.9 lead out there a whole lot. Um, you can find it on Amazon, so there you go. And something else I figured out is if you get done using your pencil and you don't fully retract the lead and then you dump it in your thing that you store your writing utensils in and you drop it on that lead, you will break it. You will jam it up in here. And that's probably how that occurred with mine. So be sure that you are retracting your lead inside the tip before you put it away. Uh, so you don't have that problem. Um, so anyway, I used calipers to figure out that what the lead that was in there, that it was actually 0.9. Um, so I used um, non-metric calipers and then converted it. Uh, but essentially 0.9 millimeter is going to be well, 0.9 millimeter is about 0.36 of an inch and 0.7 millimeter is about 0.28 of an inch. So it's a little bit smaller. So just know that uh, these are uh, 0.9 unless maybe they made them in, in a 0.7, I don't know. I had assumed it was 0.7 and I was wrong. So I had to find some 0.9 lead out there. Um, I like it, it writes really nice. Okay, so anyway, I hope this uh, information um, helps you guys out there. 
um, get these heirlooms up and running and use them effectively. Uh, they're pretty cool uh, pens and pencils, and um, I enjoy using them, and I figure you will too. All right, take care.